Hi, second graders. Today we are going to learn about lesson 3.6 that you're working on at home. 3.6 in your math book. Okay, this is the front page. So the story here is that Gina put four of her colored tiles inside the circle. And she put three of her colored tiles outside the circle. How many colored tiles does she have all together? You should hear that word all together and think that you want to count them all up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we are going to show count them all up by using an addition sentence. We're going to add. If we're going to count them all up, we're going to add. So one addition sentence here is we can have the three. Remember we did this, the, uh, the related facts. Three plus four, we counted them up and it was seven. We can also say that four plus three equals seven, right? Because we know when we add, we can put either number first and we're still going to get the same answer. Okay? Now, we're going to talk about something related to adding because our I can statement says, what are some ways to remember differences? We're going to talk about that when we flip the page. So peel back this one page, peel it like a banana, and just look at the back of this first page. You should see a purple box. Pause it if you cannot find the right page. I'm on the purple box. This page is talking about differences. The word difference means that we're not talking about adding anymore. We're talking about What's the symbol? Minus. Minus means subtract. We're talking about subtracting. We're talking about different ways that we can figure out the answer when we have to subtract. So you can count backwards. So I know we've been talking a lot about touch points in my class. The number two gets two touch points, one, two. That will really help you if you can put your touch points on because then you can count backwards. You can put seven in your head and count backwards, seven, six, five. Seven minus two is five. We can try it with this one. Put three touch points on the three. One, two, three. Put nine in your head and count backwards. Nine in your head. Eight, seven, six. That will help you. Okay. On this side, they're showing you that you can think about it as the missing add on. So if you knew in your head, if you knew that five plus three is eight, if you knew that fact and you saw eight minus five, you might be able to know that the eight is here, the five is here, and the missing number that we don't have yet is three. That's what we did yesterday in class with our related facts paper. We were figuring out that when we take addition and we flip it backwards, it turns into subtraction. So five plus three is eight forwards. Eight minus three is five. And we know that we can do either order. So eight minus five is also three. Okay, you can do it that way. If you don't know these facts quickly, you may have to just count backwards, which is also fine, but use your touch points to count backwards. So this whole page is just subtraction facts for you. And I would love if you know how to put touch points on to do that or count backwards. So when you see this subtracting, this um, minus sign for subtracting, you see the word difference. I want you to make a connection in your head that that word difference means subtract. Can you say that three times? Difference means subtract. Difference means subtract. One more time, okay? They're finding out the difference because guess what? Six and four, they're not the same. They're different. But how many more would it take for four to be just like six? That's what they're asking you. How much different are they? Well, if we put one, two, three, four touch points on the four, start with a bigger number and count backwards. Six in your head by four, three, two. Six minus four is two. 10 minus seven. I always put the touch points on the second number in subtracting. And you don't ever have to put them on both because you're going to start with this number. You only need your touch points on the second number. 
So you're going to put 10 in your head and you're going to count backwards. This is what a seven looks like in touch points. You count it like this. One tap, one, two, one, two, one, two. Double, 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 double. It's like a slide. Mrs. Sabuda says it's like a slide. You go up slow, one, down fast. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So put 10 in your head and we're going to count backwards. Ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. 10 minus seven is three. Look at this one, they wrote it backwards. It's okay, we can still do it. Sometimes they put the equal sign first. It's okay, we're just going to look for the two numbers that we're subtracting. The bigger number, we're gonna leave it alone. We're going to go to the smaller number, the second number. How many touch points go on two? One, two. Put five in your head, five, count backwards. Four, three, five minus two is three. Remember that was related to adding. So if you know five minus two is three, you probably also know that three plus two is five. Okay, good job. This whole page is the same. Let's look at this one. It has a six. We don't need the touch points on the first number. We're going to use that number to keep in our head, but we do need the touch points on the six. If you don't know what that looks like, it's one at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. They're double taps, tap, 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 tap. So we put 14 in our head and we have to work on counting backwards. If you're not that great at counting backwards yet, that's something that you can do at home today. Practice counting backwards. Just get some little toy cars or something and put them in a row and count them and then count backwards. Counting backwards is very important for subtracting. So that is something that you can practice all day today while you're at home. So 14 in your head, let's count backwards. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Good job. Okay, so you're going to complete this page, the whole thing by yourself. Put your touch points on, count backwards. It's simple subtracting. Okay, this next page is more of these. These are very very basic subtraction problems, nothing fancy. You're just counting backwards. Like I said, if you have any toy cars or maybe like those little Shopkins or something and you want to count them out, take some of your toys, whatever you have. Maybe they're playing cards or dominoes. Take nine of them for this problem maybe. Line them all up and take away seven and count. Or line them all up and count backwards after you take away the seven. You can count backwards. So practice that. Okay, we don't have any manipulatives to get you, but you can use anything. You can use little uh, matchbox cars or Legos, anything that you have. Take out 11, take away eight. Remember, subtractions, take away and count how many you have left. If you don't want to use touch points, try that method. Try counting, okay? And then down here, write the difference, then write the fact and the pattern. So for this one, you're going to do all of these are take away one. One only gets one touch point, so you're going to just take away one. So 10, take away one. 10, jump back one. Nine, eight, take away one, jump back one. Seven, six, take away one. Yep, five, four, go back one, three. Now down here, they want you to write the next, see the directions? Write the next fact in the pattern. They want you to find a pattern in what they wrote. So they wrote 10 minus 1, 8 minus 1, 6 minus 1, 4 minus 1. Look at this pattern here. 10, 8, 6, 4. Are the numbers getting bigger or smaller? 10, 8, 6, 4. Numbers are getting smaller. And are they going down by ones? Well, they skipped one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. They skipped one. So skip counting, we can call that counting by twos. They counted by twos backwards. 10, 8, 6, 4. What would go down here counting by twos backwards? So skip three. The next one would be two. So that pattern in the first column would be 10, 
0.8642. This pattern is all the same. It's minus one. And if you check it out, two minus one is one. We know that one. And now this one should be a pattern. Nine, seven, five, three, one. Check it out. Nine, skip eight. Seven, skip six. Five, skip four. Three, skip two. One. Odd numbers. Even and odd. So that's what you're going to do here. Find the pattern and write me another, after you answer these, write me another fact here that fits in the pattern. If you need to watch that part of the video back, go ahead. And you turn that one over. This is the mid-chapter checkpoint, okay? Your teacher's going to be grading this one for a quiz grade. It has some adding, okay? And then it does have some subtracting and a word problem. Mid chapter checkpoint, your teacher will be correcting this for a quiz grade. So make sure you bring this back. This is going to be graded as a quiz. Okay, so this page, they all need to come back, but this page is the one that will be graded. Okay, do it by yourself. Try to do it by yourself. Having someone at home do the answers for you is not really going to help anything. If you can do it by yourself, that would be the best way to see if you are catching on to this adding and subtracting. And then this would be your homework page, which you can do by yourself, okay? We have a word problem here. Mr. Lee has 16 pencils. He gives nine pencils to some students. How many pencils does Mr. Lee have now? I want you to think of this word gives. Someone's giving away their pencils. They're giving them out. Is he adding to his pencil collection or is he subtracting if he's giving these pencils away? So here's your first number and your second number. Figure out, picture in your mind what he's doing. Write a fact here and then the answer will be here. Write or draw to explain two different ways to find 12 minus 3. Okay, two different ways to do 12 minus 3. You can do counting back. You can do counting on. You can draw a picture of 12 and take away 3. You can do a related addition fact. Think of some different ways that you can solve that. And then on the back, these are all review. I think you got this. I'll read this one to you. Devin has 39 toy blocks. What is the total value of the digit nine in this number? They want to know just the value of the digit nine. And for this one, which number has the same value as 20 tens? 20 ten sticks. We call those french fries, 20 french fries, okay? So I didn't give you a lot of answers today because I really want you to work on this. While you're home, I really need you to work on this. All of these pages, and you have two days, okay? So you don't have to do it all right now, but go back to the video and find the part that you need. Hit pause, do a little bit, and work on it slowly. I would love you to work on all of these pages, and I'll see you when you get back at school. Have a great day, everybody.